Good morning, folks. We've got top stories today, including weather, Mars, Alma, and a possible galactic outburst in a galaxy far, far away. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star was very quiet. Coronal holes on the Earth-facing half of the sun, and we've had some solar wind influence from them, but it is waning and winding back down this morning as the plasma speed, middle panel in purple, does drop out, leaving geomagnetic conditions calm and quiet as well. We do see more coronal holes on the sun, and that will be the only forecastable space weather at the moment. More stream fluctuations likely, but due to be modest. Kind of a modest little tornado that dropped in Colorado yesterday. Modest except for those directly underneath it. That included a few homes and an RV park. No injuries, thankfully. Let's go to space, and we are zooming into the galactic disk at a cluster known as the Wild Duck. This namesake is much easier to understand after Hubble zeroes in on the source points and reduces the glare, sort of a flying V of stars there. Quack. Let's stick closer to home with this one. Our little red brother planet has a shocking amount of life ingredients. That's very cool news for ancient Mars and future missions there. Also got the ESA spotting the dust devil tracks on Mars. Amidst the cracks and craters, the dark thin lines are indeed from dust devils. We've got new shots from ALMA of a planetary disk. They are getting darn good at these, actually. And they are not only indicators of planets forming, but sometimes planets migrating in the formation process. We've seen two of those in the last year. Very cool animation from NASA detailing a glacial reversal. In a move that has scientists somewhat baffled, the ice loss at a critical part of Greenland has not only slowed, not only stopped, but reversed. They claim it is the cold water rushing into the region and aiding the process. Not a bad guess as to one of the contributing factors, but the degree to which this shift occurred on the heels of a record El Nino is somewhat surprising even for those of us expecting more cold news in the future. And the top story today, an active galactic nucleus changing fast, a very sudden and very extreme visible and UV light outburst the Seifert Starburst Galaxy is doing what Dr. Laviolette fears may happen in our galaxy someday, or which may have happened already and the light is merely on its way. Either way, it is fun to watch how scientists treat the matter when it arises for them here. You can tell these events at the galactic core level really get them excited. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. It is Saturday, so we've got the Fly on the Wall podcast, and we're going to have a blast with that. New Deeper Look should come out tonight as well, so there's lots to see for website members at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close here. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.